we've heard a lot about what the Rismo is, and the adjectives I'm hearing are big, huge, emotional, and that has to be shown in the music as well as the drama. The crucial thing that overlooks this, this opera, which is religion, the church is always there, the big Easter hymn. I have to say that Cavalry is a minefield. It is one of the most difficult operas to bring off, and thank goodness we got Tony Papano to help us through it, because every bar, there's a decision to be made about how to conduct it, whether, I'll explain a little bit later when I've got the singers with me, uh, what rubato is, but, but rubato is moving on or, st or stopping, not singing in tempo or playing in tempo, but making the music breathe, phrasing it. And every single bar, every single bar in this piece has to have a decision of it. Um, there's also things called portamento, carrying the voice, going sliding from one note to the next. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. You need to know exactly when to do it. And again, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more in the, when we have some singers, because I'm not going to sing for you. Um, so, as I say, we start the prelude. simple, very beautiful, peaceful in some ways, um, but it's not a million miles away from the church. Then we get the first <coughs> theme that Santucci is going to sing in the duet, where she's pleading and she's weeping for Turidu, um, very openly and passionately. develops and then we get a, 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 this huge crescendo. And you're all waiting for something big to happen now, I can feel it. But it doesn't, he does the complete opposite. What we hear then is an offstage harp. The orchestra stops playing after that huge big crescendo and we get an offstage harp. And we hear, it says in the score behind the curtain, but that's not practical. Um, <clears throat> so we hear from the distance, Turiddu singing about Lola. Interesting, written in, in um, uh, Sicilian dialect. So it's, we're already getting a colour of the piece w which we're in. It sings that off stage, and then we get exactly that same build up again. <clears throat> but this time our emotions are satisfied because that huge climax arrives. <laughs> Massive outbursts from the orchestra, massive emotions, and it doesn't settle. Yes, we get to that chord. Um, where am I? Um, this. But it carries on. That chord there. If I play those notes in a different way, it will be this. There's real clashes. That's, ca that's causing tension within your souls, from, by your ears. That's telling us that the music isn't, isn't comfortable. It's, it, it's going somewhere, but it's not settling. It goes from one uh, distance to another. Here's one. Another, another one. Another one. And on it goes, on it goes. Emotional um, minefields, one after the other. You've got to make sure where you land. Then it sort of settles down, and we get another main theme from the, that same duet with Santuzzo and Turidu. Again, like a, a, a chorale from the, from the choir. Santuzzo's pleading, please love me again. Stay with me, don't go away, please.
still begging. It's not working. It's not working. The orchestra has to help, so the full orchestra comes in. And the orchestra is telling the story. You don't need to analyze it. You don't need to, well, there's no words here. You don't need to read the surtitles. The music going, doesn't go via there. It goes straight there. And you know exactly what's going on. I think we need some singers. <clears throat> so can we please welcome Vlada Borovko and Samuel Dale Johnson from the Yekapar for Young Artists Program. <laughs> what we're going to do for you now is sing straight through um, the Silvio Ned the duet. And she shouldn't be flirting with him and having an affair with him, but she is. Thank you. I think we could all write that. <laughs> you don't need to be Verdi to write that. But what's happening is what I'm playing in the orchestra is she just had a, a, the duet with Tonio where he's, he's come on to her and tried to touch and tried to kiss her and she's repulsed him. And he goes away and says, I'm going to have revenge on you. Um, and um, so she's saying, saying these words strongly, but with this whip, I, I got rid of that unworldly dog. Um, but the orchestra is playing Tonio's music. Nothing in what she's singing is telling you anything emotional. She's just giving you information. Now, Sam is going to sing for me three bars here. Uh, two bars, actually. Um, it's where he's saying to Nedda, well, why are you leaving me, this, it, leaving me like this after you've bewitched me so much with your charms? And the word bewitch, stregato, from the Italian strega, meaning a witch, stregato, if he sings that perfectly in tempo, it means nothing, and it doesn't feel right. Can you just do it without doing any of yeah. that at all, please, Sam? Okay, now he'll do it with the rubato on the word stregato and just see how more powerful it feels. So just that little tenth of a second more on that one syllable gives him time to do the stregat, stre to colour the word and to shape the phrase. Tony has to do that the same in the pit to, to make sure the 85 players in the pit are doing the same thing as Sam is on stage. The last thing I want to, port, to uh, point out for Verismo is portamento. That's carrying from one, sliding from one note to the next. Now this is really hard because they have to do it together. At the very end, the last thing you'll hear them sing this evening is um, where he's saying, come away with me, come away with me, you don't want to be with this evil man, come away with me, we'll have a nice life away. And finally she says the little word, si. Yes, I will come away with you. And they say, si, mi guarda, mi baches, kiss me, I love you, at the very end of the phrase. And they sing it together, and on the word bacia, well, you have bacia, bacio, um, and tamo, you'll feel that they should do portamenti. Can you do it first without? Yep. This is cold, cold emotion. Here. That's enough of that. Now do it. Now do it. Now do it properly. Straight on it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Just gives us a whole different feeling. Now can you do it? I don't know if they'll be able to do this because they're so good. Can you do it too much? Mm -hmm. yep. You'll get this feeling that you'll feel seasick and it's more like con vomito than portamento. <laughs> um. Si, ti guardo e ti bacio, That's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's very appropriate for Verizon. You wouldn't do that in Mozart. You'd go, voi che sapete. That would be wrong for Carabina to sing like that. They want clean notes there. But for in Verismo, that sh you could tell the, the difference in the, in the way that, it, that the sounds come to you as an audience are immense. OK, enough talking. I'm just going to play, and they're just going to sing. So this is the duet between Silvio and Nedda. <laughs> Sai la festa fin 
allor perché ti tu mai stregato se vuoi lasciarmi senza pietà quel bacio tu 